I'm pleased to say Cheryl Hull joins me now. Good afternoon to you, Cheryl. Hello, my darling. How are you doing? I'm very good, but I'm very excited that you're coming on the show. You are on the show right now, live. So tell me, did you know that Adele was going to turn up? I didn't have a clue. Now, for those that don't know me, I have just been eliminated off RuPaul's Drag Race on BBC. I was doing my first show since I've been eliminated and I turned out ready to have a fabulous evening. Then all of a sudden I'm in the dressing room 15 minutes before we go on stage and they say, Adele's coming in the building. I went, huh? And they went, a real Adele. And I was like, I'm okay. We're doing this tonight. <laughs> Were you quite, uh, you just cut out, but were you quite nervous then? Look, it's not every day that you meet such an icon that is Adele, one of the biggest pop stars in the world. So it caught me very off guard that I didn't really have time to process what was going on. So I just cracked on, kept professional, kept a cool face instead of crying my eyes out saying, I love you, Adele. <laughs> But she was an absolute dream to have at this gig. It was the best night possible. And what happened when she popped up on stage then? So at the end of the competition, normally the guest judge, a.k.a. moi, would mm. have the final decision in the competition. But we were like, look, let's pass over the reins to a well true icon and we just wanted Adele to she had sat and watched and enjoyed the entire show so it was her decision to make and she decided on one of the most fabulous performances I have ever seen in my history of attending heaven since I turned 18. Oh, what, did, what did you make of her I'm sorry the line's a little bit crackly so I hope I'm not interrupting you but what did you make of of her pole dancing? Adele is a performer through and through, but more importantly, she is just a girl that wants to have a good time. And that's what I love about her, the realism that we are just humans walking the same life. Yes, we have some amazing opportunities in life, but she is just like all of us that wants to let their hair down and have a good time. And seeing her up on that stage performing, it was just so amazing. And the crowd went absolutely wild, didn't they? Oh, they lost their minds. I was like, oh, the, they, they've come out to see little of me. after, <laughs> And all of a sudden, they turn around and see Adele singing at them. Well, she didn't sing, but she was blowing people's minds. She looked like she had a few drinks, right? I mean, who wouldn't come to a nightclub? Unless you're a sober divalina, then, I mean, have, have a J2O on me. But look, <laughs> we, we took and we want to let our hair down and have a nice glass of vino. I definitely had one. Why do you think she turned up to your night then? Look, this is what I love about LGBTQ plus venues. It is a safe space where everybody can come, accept everybody, love everybody and uplift everybody's amazing stories. And it's a place where you can escape against uh, escape the woes and the stresses of day-to-day -day life and just have good fun. And I think she's been a busy working hustling queen. Like she's been doing the rounds and trust and believe this album is incredible. So she deserves to let her hair down more than anybody. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been a big week for her what with the Brit awards and everything. Truly. I mean <laughs> If I could attend an award show like the Brits and then head to GAY straight after, I'd be doing it as well. Well, your first single, Need the Power, is out today. So did you get any, get any tips from Adele? Now, I did let slip that I had just dropped a single for the first time and she said, baby, enjoy the ride. Have the best time performing it live because it is going to be such an amazing experience. And truly, I'm going into my first live performance of this single tomorrow and I'm going to be like, right, I've got to do Adele Proud. I've got to do Adele Proud. Well, maybe she'll turn up. Oh, she's ready for round two. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have the gin on standby ready for her. <laughs> um, do you think fans have forgiven her now for cancelling her Vegas residency? We are living in such crazy times right now where we don't know what's around the corner. COVID is one of those situations that we have just got to roll with the punches that we had dealt, whether we have to isolate for three weeks or we have to 
cancel cancel a show it's just circumstances i've had many a gigs cancelled due to covid whether it's the venue can't facilitate it or the fact that i haven't got the staff to go on with the show so you just have to roll with it she's 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 still gonna carry on and she's already promised me tickets to come to vegas so really so you got last night she she made that promise to you did she I know, I know, and I'm I'm a, a queen of my words and I will hold her to that. Like she told she I said, Can I sing at your next special instead of Alan Carr? <laughs> well, Cheryl Hall, I can't tell you how excited everybody was in the building to have you on the show. So it's been great having you. Really appreciate it. Enjoy Vegas when it happens. And uh, what a great night it must have been last night. Thanks very much. Thank you. Have an amazing day, my darling. Thank you, and you. Thank you.